Hi, welcome all you story lovers. Today I will be reading Can Annie Make Friends? And remember, if you like this story, to click the thumbs up below and share it with your friends. Thank you. It was Annie's first day at this school. She was a little afraid at first, but Miss Spence, the teacher, was nice to her and showed her where to sit. This is Annie, said Miss Spence to the class. She has just moved into town. I know that you will make her feel at home. The boys did not pay her any mind, but some of the girls had kind faces. Annie started to feel better. She missed her friends from the other school and she wanted to make new friends. The first class of the day was reading. The teacher was calling on all of the children to read. They made many mistakes. Then she called on a girl named Lena. Lena was a tall girl. She looked smart, but she did not have a kind face. She read in a loud voice and only made three mistakes. Thank you, Lena, said Miss Spence. That was good. I wish more of you children would read like Lena. Lena looked around in a very boasty way. No, said Miss Spence. Let us see what you can do, Annie. Annie did not know she would have to read on her first day. She was frightened of reading in front of all the children. She started in a small voice, but as she read, she became braver. She read well and did not make any mistakes. Very good, Annie, said Miss Spence. You did not make any mistakes. Annie was very happy and proud that she had done well on her first day. Then she saw Lena's face. Lena's face looked vexed and ugly, and Annie did not know why. At lunchtime, Annie looked for somebody to talk to. She wanted to be friendly. To her surprise, nobody looked like they wanted to talk to her. Most of the girls walked around with Lena. Not even the girls with kind faces would talk to Annie. Annie tried to show that she did not mind, but she was sad. The next day, things were no better. Lena made more than three mistakes in reading, but Annie did not make any. Lena looked very vexed. At lunchtime, Lena and the other girls played games, but nobody would play with Annie. In classes, it was also bad. If Annie said anything, the girls would laugh and make funny sounds. This happened day after day. Miss Spence knew what was happening. So one day when the girls laughed at Annie, she talked to them. That is enough, she said. You are foolish children. We must be nice to our new friends. When Lena saw that Miss Spence was kind to Annie, she was even more vexed. After school, Lena told the other girls bad things about Annie, and she began to tease her. What a way this new girl is boasty, shouted Lena. She thinks she can read better than us. What a way she is boasty. Yes, said the other girls. What a way she is boasty. Annie tried not to, but at last she started to cry. Lena was happy to see Annie cry. She teased her even more. Cry, cry. Annie is a nanny. Annie is a nanny. One big boy felt sorry for Annie. He said to Lena, why are you doing that? Leave the new girl alone. She's not troubling you. Boy, mind yourself, shouted Lena. This is to do with girls. Walk off. Even the big boy was afraid of Lena. He went away to play with the boys. Nobody could help Annie. Lena and the girls just went on shouting. Annie is a nanny. Annie is a nanny. Annie cried all the way home. She had not done anything wrong, but she could not make friends. When she got home, her mother and father saw how sad she was. What is wrong, Annie? asked her mother. I don't want to go to school tomorrow, replied Annie. But why? I don't like school, Mama, she said. But Annie, said her mother, you have always liked school. Annie started to cry again. She did not know what to say. Why are you crying, little Annie? asked her father. Aren't the children nice to you? No, replied Annie in a small voice. They are not kind to
to me. I want to be friends, but they tease me. But why do they tease you? He asked. I think it is because I read better than Lena, said Annie. Who is this girl, Lena? asked her mother. She is the girl who was the best reader in the class, said Annie. But now I am the best because I don't make any mistakes. So they say I am boasty. But I am not. Maybe if I try to read badly, they will like me. What? said her father. No, Annie. You are a good reader. You are to be proud of that. We know you are not boasty. You must not try to make mistakes. You would not be honest with yourself if you did that. But what am I to do? cried Annie. Lena and the girls tease me and say, Annie is a nanny. Well, that is foolish of them, said her father. Nanny was a great woman. But I don't think they mean that nanny, said Annie. They mean I am foolish like a nanny goat. Oh, laughed her father. Well, you just tell them that nanny was a great woman. Nanny was brave and you must be brave. Annie did not know if that would stop them, but she thought that she would go to school after all. She would have to try to be brave. The next day at school, Miss Spence called on the children to read. Lena read and made three mistakes. Then it was Annie's turn to read. As she was reading, Lena threw a paper ball at her. It hit Annie on her back. She jumped and made a mistake. Annie made a mistake, Lena said in a quiet voice. Annie is a nanny. The children laughed. Lena thought Miss Spence had not heard, but Miss Spence had heard. She also saw when the paper ball hit Annie. Who did that? She called out. Nobody said anything. The girl who did that must be honest and say so, said Miss Spence. The class became very quiet. The boys looked at the girls. They were happy to see that Miss Spence had caught up with them. And the girls looked at Lena. They wondered what would happen. Miss Spence knew that it was Lena. But Miss Spence wanted her to be honest and say that she had done it. Annie asked Miss Spence. Do you know who is teasing you? Annie was afraid to say anything. Then she said to herself, I must be brave. I think so, said Annie. But I do not want to tell on her. She's calling me Nanny, Annie went on. But Nanny was a brave woman. I do not know if this girl is brave enough to say she did it. The children looked surprised. They wondered what would happen now. Nobody had ever said something like that about Lena. You are right, Annie, said Miss Spence. Nanny was a great Jamaican. We are proud of that. It is wrong to tease anybody by calling her Nanny. And it is wrong to tease any child at any time. Still, Lena said nothing. She was trying to look as if she had not done anything. But the children now knew that she was not brave enough. They began to call out, Lena, it is you. Say so. It is you. Lena started to cry. I didn't mean to do it, she said in a small voice. Well, you have done wrong, Lena, said Miss Spence. But the rest of you girls are also wrong. You also teased Annie. You must help a new girl feel at home. Lena is to say she is sorry for what she did today. Lena did not want to say she was sorry. But she said it because she was afraid that the other girls might not be her friends. They were vexed with her now because they were all in trouble. At lunchtime, the girls all wanted to talk to Annie. Nobody wanted to talk to Lena. Annie was happy. She felt Lena was a bad girl, but it was her turn to show that she could be kind. So she said to the girls, let us all be friends. Lena was not happy about this. But she was still afraid that the other girls would not play with her. So she went to talk with them and tried to be nice. From that day on, all the girls wanted to play with Annie. Annie had made friends after all. The end. Many children are victims of bullying. If we see that a child is being bullied, we should stand up and help to stop bullying. 
Bullying is wrong. Be kind. Thank you for watching. Bye.